In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a Google Form for multiple choice questions. To make a Google Form, you need to go to your Google Drive. To get to your Google Drive from Google Classroom, click on the shortcut key in the upper right hand corner, the nine dots. When the menu opens up, click on Drive. Click on the new button, the one with the plus sign. Move your mouse down, go to More, and slide over to Google Forms. A new form will open up. In the space that says Untitled Form, you can type the name of the form that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to say the title is About Miss Healy. Now I can also type a description. Sometimes this is where I will type in directions for an assignment. So in this space, I'm going to say answer the following question about Miss Healy. Now if I click up at the top over here where it says untitled form, whatever I typed over here will be copied and pasted into that space. And this saves me a little bit of time because this becomes the file name that will be saved in Google Drive. So now I'm ready to start typing my questions. Where it says untitled question, I click in that box and then a menu appears on the right. If I click on that menu, I have all types of questions that I could possibly choose from. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, etc. I can also upload a file if I want to. And I could also add the date and time that's down there. In this case, I want multiple choice, so I make sure that's selected. Click on it. And then my multiple choice options will show up over here. First, I type my question. And I'm going to say which statement is not, and I'm going to capitalize not, all of the letters in that word, not true about Miss Healy. Okay. Now I have, because it's multiple choice, I have to give my reader some answers to choose from. So let me see. I'll, I have to have three statements that are correct and one that is false. So I'll just start typing some things. I grew up in Jersey City. I click where it says add option. As soon as I click, then that will allow me to start typing the second one. I'll say I drove a motorcycle. Where it says add option, I'll click. Oh, come on, I messed up a little bit. Um, I'll say I went skydiving. And for my fourth option, I'll say this one. I am related to Martin Van Buren. The eighth president. Oops. Okay. So once I have all of my questions, if I decide that I don't like one of these answers, if I can also delete them by clicking on the X over here on the right. Um, I could add an, if, let's say if I deleted one and then I wanted to add another option, I would just go over here, click on that add option, and then I would type in the other answer. If I wanted to have an image, I could click on where it says image and upload an image. I can, let's see what else you need to know. Um, if I wanted to duplicate this question, I would just click on the duplicate button. 
And then if I decided I didn't want a question in here, I could just trash it. If I want to make sure that the person who gets this form has to answer this question, I would turn on the required button. And let's just say um, for future purposes, if I want it so that in case you're adding more questions, um, I would, if I wanted to add another question, I would just click on the uh, plus time. And then I would have the same, go through the same options, choose the type of question, etc. So I'm going to delete that one because we don't need it for this short assignment that we're doing. And let me see if I told you everything that I wanted to tell you. Uh, did I tell you? Oh, one other thing. Sorry. Let's say that I didn't like the order that these answers were in and I wanted to rearrange them to try to fool someone because they have to find the one that is not true about me and I don't want it to be, let's say I don't want it to be the first one or the, the last one, I whatever. I want to move them around. So if I move my cursor over to this area over here, you see how it changes? I'll make it a little bit clear if I can move around. It's kind of right over those dots, but if you look closely, there are uh, it's a four-pointed arrow. That means that I can move something around. So I click on it, and then I can just move it anywhere. And I can move all of these, uh, whatever location I want to drop them. So I'll drag and drop once I pick them up. Okay, let me see if I, is there anything else that I wanted to sh tell you? I think that's about it. Um... I told you how to trash it, copy it. Okay, I think that's it. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask.